I'm Naomi Bethel. I've had sickle cell since I was born. When we realized that Naomi had sickle cell, it was tough. I think I cried for days. I was devastated. You hear about a lot of other disorders far more frequently and uh, in a more pronounced way than you do sickle cell disease. It's really been sort of a hidden disease over the years and one that most people are extremely unaware of. We know that one in 375 African-American newborns has the disease. The current life expectancy of someone born with sickle cell disease is 42 to 48 years of age. Even though my husband and I sat down with my daughter and explained to her her condition, it's still hard for me to tell her that one day she may, you know, die from this condition. It's the unpredictable nature of the disease that makes a great impact on our families. Every day you wake up cautiously hopeful that this will be one of those days that you don't have to go to the hospital because of fever or that you don't have to go to the hospital because of pain. There was times she spent almost weeks in, in the hospital. It was very challenging. I feel forever indebted to CHOP for making us feel at home and welcome. The Children's Hospital of Philadelphia is unique in many ways. It's the oldest children's hospital in the country, and that's one of the reasons that our sickle cell center is so large and covers over 1,000 patients. Dr. Oheni Frempong was one of the founders of the sickle cell program here at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. And he took a group of basic scientists, clinical researchers, and put them to the test at really trying to find a way to improve the quality of life of those living with sickle cell disease. I've been at CHOP for 16 years, and the reason I stay at CHOP is because it's a very conducive environment and supportive environment to do cutting edge research, and that relates to CHOP's mission uh, to generate new cures for all types of diseases. Dr. Flake's work really gives us the possibility of having children being born healthy so that they never have to experience any of the chronic impact of having sickle cell disease. The idea is that we can transplant a fetus with stem cells from another donor and have those cells in graft because the fetus has the unique ability to become tolerant to those stem cells. This would be a way for couples living with sickle cell trait to have children without sickle cell disease um, despite um, the genetics of the disease. The research results are absolutely convincing that we can achieve a cure of sickle cell disease right now in humans with the approach that I've described. What we need is approximately three to five million dollars to complete all phases of this research and complete the clinical trial. Unfortunately, the economic environment has been challenging and the funding for research has been challenging over the last decade. Because this type of research is out of the mainstream and it's a minority disease, there's really a lack of funding available uh, to proceed with these studies. So that's why we really need philanthropy uh, to complete this project. With Hope on the Horizon, we would have sustainable funding for moving Dr. Flake's research forward. I think it's actually a very rare opportunity that you could potentially cure a major disease like sickle cell disease for three to five million dollars. We can find a cure to sickle cell, but it will take a, a group effort and we'll take those fundings and those dollars to pour into that research uh, to find that answer. These children are lights, and they are wonderful in what their potential is. I want to be a nurse when I grow up, and I want to help sickle cell patients get through hard times. It's my hopes that she lived for a long time. I think my mission now is to prepare her for life and to point her in the right direction for whatever may come her way. And I believe the stuff that is being done here at CHOP, I believe the stuff that they are taking the lead in uh, can really lead to a cure. There's no other area of my career that is more important to me than solving this problem. A cure that would allow uh, that child to be cured while in the womb uh, is, 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 can't be measured.